With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is the degree of dissociation of I2 molecule at 1000 degree Celsius and under one atmospheric is 40% by volume. If the dissociation is reduced to 20% at the same temperature, the total equilibrium pressure on the gas will be. So in this question, it is given that I2 uh, degree of dissociation of I2 at 1000 degree Celsius and one atmosphere temperature is given 40% by volume. And if the dissociation is reduced to 20% at the same temperature, then we have to find out the new equilibrium pressure. The initial pressure is one atmosphere. We have to find out the new equilibrium pressure. So, if we write the dissociation of I2 molecule, so that would be I2 dissociate to form 2I negative. Now, at T is equals to 0, if, if we assume that it is having 1 mole, so it will be 0 and at T is equal to equilibrium, at at equilibrium, let's say its degree of dissociation is alpha, so it will be formed. 2 alpha. Now the total moles will be total moles at equilibrium will be that is 1 minus alpha plus 2 alpha. So that is equals to 1 minus alpha plus 2 alpha which is equals to 1 plus alpha. Now we have to write the Kp for this reaction. So, Kp would be, Kp is the pressure equilibrium constant and it equals to partial pressure of the products raised to power their, partial pressure of the products raised to power their stoichiometric coefficient, let us say x, divided by partial pressure of the reactants raised to power their stoichiometric coefficients. Now, it is given that the degree of dissociation is 40%. So, if degree of dissociation is 40%, it means alpha is 40 by 100, that is 0.4. So, if alpha is 0.4, now we can write the partial pressures for the Kp4. So, Kp would be partial pressure of the product, that is I negative, raised to power its stoichiometric coefficient, divided by partial pressure of I2. Now, partial pressures are calculated as partial pressure is equal to mole fraction into total pressure. So, now we have to calculate the mole fraction of I negative and I2. So, mole fraction of I negative would be number of moles of I negative that are 2 alpha upon total number of moles that is 1 plus alpha and mole fraction for mole fraction for I2 would be number of moles of I2 that is 1 minus alpha at equilibrium to the total number of moles that is 1 plus alpha. Now we can write the partial pressures. So for partial pressure of I negative raised to power 2 that will be mole fraction into total pressure. This is calculated. So mole fraction of I negative is 2 alpha divided by 1 plus alpha into total pressure is given 1 atmosphere. So, square of this divide by partial pressure of iodine. So, that will be its mole fraction that is 1 minus alpha divide by 1 plus alpha into 1 because the total pressure is 1. So, from this we can find out the Kp. So, this is 1 Kp that is 4 alpha square upon 1 plus alpha whole square divide by 1 minus alpha upon 1 plus alpha. So, this 1 plus alpha will be cancelled by this. So, we will have 4 alpha square upon 1. So, this will become 1 plus alpha. This will come 1 upon uh, 1 minus alpha by 1. This will be multiplied by this. So, now in the denominator, this is 1 plus alpha and 1 minus alpha. 
this is making an identity that is a plus b into a minus b that is equals to a square minus b square. So we can write it as 1 square minus alpha square. So it will be, it means kp will be for this 4 alpha square upon 1 minus alpha square and alpha is given first as 40% so it will be 0.4 so it will be 4 into 0.4 square minus upon 1 minus 0.4 square so this value when we calculate this this is equal to kp now 4 into 0 0.16 divide by 1 minus 0.16 so that will be 0.84 now it is given that the degree of dissociation is reduced to 20% at same temperature. If degree of dissociation is reduced to 20% at same temperature then Kp will remain same because the equilibrium constant is not affected by any change in concentration, volume, pressure etc. It is only changed by, only affected by the change in temperature. So here the temperature is given same. So Kp will remain same if the equilibrium, if the dissociation degree of dissociation is 20% so we can write if alpha dash that is 20% is so 20% means it is 0.2 so we can write new kp so that will be if we now put value of alpha here that is 0.2 so that will be 4 into 0.2 square divided by 1 minus 0.2 square so now this kp into total pressure into new pressure because initially that pressure was one atmosphere but here it will be we have to find out this new pressure equilibrium pressure so this kp will be equal to this kp so we can equate these two terms that is one and two so we will equate this as four into 0.16 divided by 0.84 so that will be equal to this 4 into 0 0.04 upon 1 minus 0 0.04 into new equilibrium pressure so that on calculating this new equilibrium pressure is calculated as 4.57 atmospheres so new equilibrium pressure is 4.57 atmosphere so the option which is correct is the d option 4.57 I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.